Alright, so in this video I'm pretty much just going to show you how to get to the inside of your cluster for your vehicle. I um, pulled this cluster out of the junkyard. It's out of a 95 Ford Ranger. Uh, my odometer has quit working in mine, so I want to replace the gear that has gone bad. Did a little bit of research and figured out that there is a gear that likes to go bad in the odometer of the Rangers and Explorers and Mazda trucks and things of that nature. So I'm basically going to pull this apart and show you how to get to it. Um, I'm also after the coolant gauge. Uh, my coolant gauge is no longer working in my truck, so definitely need to replace that as well. So hopefully this one will work in my truck. But for now, I'm going to show you how to get to that gear in the easiest way. Um, first off, you want to take the cover off. On this one, there's seven screws that go around it. You just have to undo all seven of those screws. I've already done a few here. Basically, you just take sockets, five and a half millimeter socket for this one. Take all seven of those screws out, and the cover just lifts right off. It's pretty simple. Uh, while you have that off on your rear vehicle, you might be a good idea to clean the inside of it. Just you know, while you have it apart. From here, you see the three faces of the gauges. You have your gas and your coolant, your speedometer, your oil pressure, and your electric. These are pretty simple to get off. Basically, you just grab them, gently pry up on them, and they pop right off. The uh, this one over here is always giving me trouble taking it off, but just kind of pry up one of the little ways there. And then that one comes up pretty simple. This is your case, you can set it to the side as well. Now, you have your odometer and your speedometer on this one. Um, the way you get to your odometer gears and everything, the first thing you want to do is take a flathead screwdriver very very gently pull up on the needle just pop the cover off first and then I don't know if you can see this or not but you just take and pry up on one side and pull up on the other and you just pop the needle right off be careful not to break that because it has to go back on and then from here flip it over switch over to five millimeter socket There's three screws on the back of the uh, circuit board here. Just pull those three screws off. And then the face of your speedometer and odometer comes right off. And just set it to the side. Now this one I've already taken apart and taken the old gear out. Um, basically the way to get the motor off, you can see there's a little tab right here. And also a little tab right down here. This one down here is pretty hard to get to. The easiest way I figured out to get to is to take one of your screws, push down on your tab with it. And then take your other hand, push down the other tab, and then just gently spin the motor. And it'll come right off those two tabs. It'll unclick right there. And then just unplug it from that. Just be gentle with it, try not to rip any of the wires out while you're plug unplugging it. And that's basically the motor. It has a gear on it, it's called a worm gear that um, spins all the gears for the odometer you can basically see here you spin the gear that's how that works and that outside gear right there is run by the worm gear um, I went ahead and bought another worm gear online just because um, the original worm gear is made out of a urethane and is lubricated with basically petroleum jelly and so over time that petroleum jelly will break down that urethane so it makes the gears really brittle 
Well, actually, I pulled this one off. It broke into three different pieces. But here's the new gear. I'm not going to put it on right here because I want to put it on my truck, not the one I got out of a junkyard. But that's the gear. It's pretty simple. I paid $30 for this little piece of plastic that probably cost about a third of a penny to make. But I had to have it. So that's how you get the motor off to put everything back together. It's literally the reverse process. Just take your motor, set it down into place, new gear installed, click it over, make sure you plug it back in. And then from there, take the face to your speedometer, set it right back on there. Take those same three screws, slip those back into place. Be careful whenever you're tightening this down not to crack any of the plastic with it being such an old vehicle. Um, it's possible the plastic has become brittle over the years. So, looks like it's out of a 95 Ranger. So, that's all you gotta do though. It's just tighten all those screws back down. Once you have your new gear installed, then flip it back over, reinstall your needle. Slip it over the little pin there, push down, put the cover back on it there. And once you have all that put back together, take your casing again. You gotta start out in the middle just because all the uh, the other two panels overlap the speedometer panel. Just kind of push it down into place. There's little pegs on the back of these that clip down into these silver clips. Um, that's where it gets the connection to basically perform whatever function it's supposed to do. That's all you gotta do is just make sure that those pegs get clipped back down into place. Same with the other. Just make sure everything's clipped into place and secure. Take your cover, put your cover back on. Take those seven screws, put those seven screws back around, and then reinstall back into your vehicle. Um, if you have any questions about anything on that, um, just leave it in the comments. I'll try to answer as many as I can. And uh, be sure to check out the other video as well on actually how to get to the uh, odometer. I'm going to um, tear my truck apart tomorrow night. Um, and I'll show you how exactly what panels you need to take off. And um, basically the process is to get to the odometer and the Ranger. And it's pretty similar for mid-90s, late-90s Explorers, Rangers, Mazda trucks. It's a very similar process, so if you have any of those um, vehicles, you'll see in mine. Um, if yours is similar to mine, it's pretty, it's pretty easy. Um, but yeah, I'll do a video of that tomorrow night. So yeah, if you have any questions, um, just leave it in the comments, and I'll try to get to them as fast as I can. Thanks for watching.